What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. 2019 had some pretty good uh, action movies this year. So, I decided to go ahead and do my top 10 favorite action movies of 2019. Because, I mean, who does love a good action movie? I mean, whether they're like you know, fight sequences or, you know, shoot em up scenes and all. And, of course, you know, uh, whether it's a male or a woman, you know, such badasses in this. So, with that being said, here's my 10 favorite action movies of 2019. Coming in at number 10, it is Charlie's Angels. Now, this is unpopular to say, I know the cool thing is to say uh, Charlie's Angels things. But I really got kicked out of this new Charlie's Angels. You know, Chris Stewart, uh, Naomi Scott, and uh, Ella Valesco both had great on screen chemistry. Uh, they really kicked loads of behinds in this, especially this Ella Valesco girl. Like, I never really seen, like, I never really seen or heard this girl uh, from anything before. Like before Charlie's Angels, and I, I kind of want to see uh, what like what else she could do in the near future because she was awesome in us. And like I said, had some cool uh, action sequence. But of course, the Charlie's Angels and the Charlie's Angels stuff. Whether you talk about the TV show or the uh, movies with Drew Barrymore and uh, Cameron Diaz and Lucy Liu, those those movies had some the show and the movies had some great action in it. So, and it's also McG who's no stranger to action. Oh, not McG. Uh, it's directed by Elizabeth Banks. My bad. And I kind of want to see what Banks could do in the near future. Like, I, I thought she did a pretty... She's a pretty good job at uh, directing us. Anyway. Coming in at number nine is Terminary Dark Fate. You know, I really... Of course, this is also is a film featuring, uh, you know, badass woman in it. Of course, you got, uh, the, you know, King of the... Or I should say Queen of the Moor uh, and uh, Sarah Connor, played by uh, Linda Hamilton. You got Natalie... Rays was in this. I don't know. Natalie was awesome. Uh, you also had, uh, oh yeah, um, Arnold back as the Terminator was pretty cool. Uh, this had some really cool effects, great, uh, you know, action scenes. Terminator Dark Fate is hands down really fun. And it is the best Terminator since uh, T2, but that's not really saying much. Alright, coming in at number eight, it is Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Now, I am. I didn't really consider Star Wars as a full-on action movie. Yeah, I know there's like a lightsaber battles and there's like fight scenes and all that. But I always consider Star Wars more of a, just a straight-up sci-fi film. Like when I do my like talk about my favorite action movies, I barely had Star Wars on the conversation. But Rise of Skywalker, you know, had some. You know, it had some really cool uh, lightsaber battle scenes, uh, cool fight sequences. Daisy really, I thought, was such a, uh, I mean, she really uh, kicked loads of uh, behinds in this. And, yeah, I mean, you, you also had some other cool um, stuff in this. Like, uh, you also had Adam Driver as uh, Kyler Ren was pretty great. I, yeah, I really got kicked out for Rise of Skywalker. I actually liked it more than most people, to be honest, yeah. Anyway, coming in at number seven, it is Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, this also has some great uh, actions, like... Especially the uh, fight scenes between uh, Spider-Man and Mysterio was pretty cool. Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio was awesome. I, I don't know how really played that role perfectly. Of course, uh, Tom Holland kicks lots of butts as does you know the role of Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Of course, uh, Spider-Man has some. All the Spider-Man movies always, always has some of the uh, cool uh, action sequences. I mean, I mean, of course. Of course, um, anyway, of course, uh, you know, uh, you know, some, yeah, this thing has some really, uh, awesome, uh, action stuff in this, so, and I'm, I'm really, and I'm really looking forward to see, uh, you know, the next Spider-Man movie, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's gonna have some, uh, cool action in it, too, so, anyway, alright, coming in at number seven is another film featuring a, uh, Featuring a kick-ass uh, woman, and that is Captain Marvel. I, I know the cool thing is you hate on uh, Captain Marvel and all, but I really got kick out of it. It is just <laughs> loads of fun. Brie Lawson, I thought was really dynamite as uh, Captain Marvel. It also had some great, uh, you know, action females in this. Like uh, Chama Chan was awesome. Uh, other folks like uh, Sam Jackson was great. This thing also had some really cool uh, actions in it. Like r really amazing uh, action. Uh, great fight sequences. Yeah, I, I really got kicked out. I mean, 2019 saw the year of a lot of cool action, like, uh, 
action superhero films. So, of course, you're going to see lots of comic book movies in this list. And Captain Marvel is definitely one of them. I really got to get out of this film. All right, coming in at number five, it is Rambo Last Blood. Starring Sylvester Stallone. I mean, this thing had some of the best actions I've really seen. It was probably one of the most violent uh, films I saw a year. You know, Stallone once again shows that uh, he still has it as uh, John Rambo. And yeah, um, Rambo Last Blood, I mean, I'm still not 100% sure if it's going to be the Last Blood, but I still really enjoy it so much. And of course, the uh, you know final act is probably one of the, of course, it's like taking me to Tom Malone. I'm not going to spoil anything because I still don't know how many people still haven't seen, uh, seen Last Blood yet. But yeah, Sean Rambo once again shows that he's one cool action hero. Alright, coming in at number four, it is Hobbs and Shaw. Now, Hobbs and Shaw, of course, another uh, Fast and Furious uh, flick starring uh, Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham as, you know, Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, each is up, of course, as the uh, you know main bad guy in this. This thing also has a really cool action. I mean, come on, Dwayne Johnson p taking down uh, each his elbow is pretty cool, um, cool to watch. Or uh, maybe, or of course, uh, the fight sequence between uh, Dwayne Johnson and Vanessa Kirby was great. Vanessa Kirby was awesome in this. I kind of want to see her in more action in the near future because either she, her fight stuff were really great in this. And yeah, I mean, of course, the uh, final act was pretty great. Some, such an awesome action movie. And of course, the Fast and Furious movies are notoriously uh, known for their uh, cool, um, you know, car action sequences, their fight sequences, and can I wish to see how awesome uh, Fast and Furious Nine will be. And of course, Dwayne Johnson is uh, one of the best action heroes out there. So, all right, coming in at number three, it is Shazam. Shazam, it is. Such a funny action flag. It is really loads of fun. Zachary Levi was awesome. This thing also has some pretty cool uh, action stuff. Like the fight scene between uh, between Zach Levi and uh, Mark Strong was pretty great. Of course, Dave F. Sandberg. He's more known for horror, not really known for action. Uh, did a pretty good job at this. I mean, of course, uh, you know, Sandberg is best known for like uh, horror. He's not, like I say, he's not best known for action. But for some of his best known for horror, he did a pretty good job at directing, uh, you know, action sequences in this. And this also has some uh, pretty cool, um, you know, uh, kick-ass uh, females like uh, Megan Good was pretty awesome in this. So, yeah, Shazam, cannot wait for the sequel, by the way, because they just announced that um, a sequel's coming out in uh, two, uh, yeah, two more years. Great. Anyway, yeah, fingers crossed, the sequel will be as good, and the action scenes will be as awesome. Alright, coming in at number two, it is Avengers Endgame. Now, this was, of course, the uh, last, like, the finest installment of the Infinity Saga. Uh, great, uh, like, some really awesome uh, action scenes, especially the final act of uh, Avengers Endgame was pretty awesome to watch. I mean, lots of awesome uh, action heroes feature in this, whether you talk about, uh, whether you talk about, um, Tony Stark, uh, you know, Captain America, Thor, you know, Josh Brolin, once again, as Danos, was pretty awesome. Yeah, Avengers Endgame was hands down loads of fun. Probably one of the best, you know, of course, it was probably one of the best uh, movie-going experience I've had all year, and I just really got kicked out. I mean, I saw the movie about three times in theaters, and had, and had a blast with it, so... Definitely go check out Endgame if you've still never seen it, but it's been out since May. I mean, who still haven't seen Endgame yet? Alright, now what action movie is better than Endgame, uh, Shazam, Captain Marvel, and all? And what's even better than Roger Skywalker? My favorite action movie of the year is, I'm not lying, it's literally John Wick Chapter 3. Like, out of all the films uh, on this list, this has some of the best action scenes of the year. You know, great, uh, like, what, the fight scene uh, between uh, Keanu Reeves and uh, Mark uh, Dacosca, I think his name is, that scene is hands down one of the best scenes in the whole movie. This thing is, once again, very violent. I mean, John Wick, you know, he's, of course he's back. You know, he's thinking he's back. And, 
Yeah, of course, the uh, Ants, like, the final act was pretty awesome. Keanu Reeves was just, he was dynamite as the role of uh, John Wick once again. I mean, he's he played this role, like, since uh, 2014. And, of course, he played the role again in uh, Part 2 and now Part 3. There's also Part 4 coming out in two more years that's going to face off against Matrix 4. But, anyway, yeah, uh, John Wick Chapter 3 is, hands down, uh, really awesome. And if you guys still haven't seen it, definitely... Go check it out and cannot wait for uh, Paul Ford to come out. Alright. Uh, that's. Oh, and this also has some uh, pretty cool uh, action females in it too, like uh, Halle Berry. I mean, I hope we get. Uh, I hope Halle Berry has more uh, screen presence in uh, Paul Ford, but we'll see. Anyway. Alright. That's pretty much it. Here's the quick rundown uh, 10, Charlie's Angels. 9, uh, Terminator Dark Fate. 8, uh, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Seventh, Spider Man Far From Home. Uh, six, Captain Marvel. Five, Rambo. Uh, four, Hobbs and Shaw. Three, Shazam. Two, Avengers Endgame. And one, John Wick 3. Now, there's those of other action movies I could have added. Uh, let's see, Code Pursuit was a good one. Uh, there was also some bad ones like Hellboy was horrible. Um, Jumanji uh, Next Level was a really cool uh, action film. Um, what other great action movies out there? Uh, definitely not 21 Bridges. That's not a good one. Uh, Gemini Man was pretty horrible. That's definitely not a good one. Uh, Age Has Fallen was... That's definitely not a great one. Um, Joker, the not, I'm not really considering Joker as an action movie. Per se. It's, it's probably the only comic book movie of the year that's not really considering an action film. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what other action movies we're going to get, uh, you know, next year. Like, next year should have some interesting actions. Like, there's so many comic book stuff coming out. And, and uh, of course, Fast and Furious 9 comes out next year. So, uh, anyway, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, what are some of your favorite action movies of 2019? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This year's C-Movies signing off.